what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna be going over stats for soul leveling arise so if you haven't yet leave a like on the video you can join the discord link in the description i do stream this game every single day so you guys can always come by ask questions and this is a free to play account as well i have gone all the way up to chapter 15 so far and i just actually changed my stats uh today but i'm going to explain uh how i went about stats for the entire time all the way to chapter 15 uh, with no hassle as well um, i also hit rank one in battlefield of time for the spider with the same exact stats that i did end up using and as you can see uh, i'm not uh paid one at all uh, whatsoever i don't have the monthly because obviously if i was paying i would get this and i don't have the uh the bonus or as you can see any diamonds at all whatsoever just fully free to play um you know just playing the game out i didn't even know that they had this room crafting like that's actually crazy anyways so the best stat for Jin Wu. Now, there's a lot of information on the internet on basically what the best that is to go for Jin Wu. Now, if you guys do disagree, you know, you can leave it in the comment section down below. Also, if you want any more guides on uh, soul leveling, just go ahead and leave it down there as well. So, when it comes to stats for Jin Wu, literally all I did um, going all the way up to chapter 15 just go everything into strength uh, you can watch my live streams um and people just you know always see my account and they're like what what's that are you going i'm like everything into strength absolutely everything into strength but now that i have chapter 15 there is a big gap um and i decided to say you know hey i'm following a look at my stats and see what i can do did a little research as well and um i'm gonna just explain some things here so when it comes to agility um do you need agility no i think the people that actually are trying to frame that you absolutely need agility it's a very dead stat a very very dead stat um the reason being is because you literally do not get any value of an increase when you do waste your uh, points on this because say i put i don't know point sets this to get this about 800 you're only going to get about a six and seven percent increase if that and if you're under 50 percent crit crit hit right who cares who cares like that it's not going to give you a substantial increase at all whatsoever so why are you lowering your damage to get a six percent increase on crit that's not going to value you um at all in the long run right now the number one thing that you guys do have to remember when it comes to actually building your weapons um not weapons when it comes to building your stats it is very reliant on what weapon that you do have now weapons actually do give you precision okay now when you have a uh, sr weapon does it give you precision automatically no you actually need dupes of that weapon to then unlock the precision stat now number one thing is precision important yes precision is actually important because it helps you actually min max your damage um <clears throat> what i personally would tell a lot of you guys to do is do a 2-1 ratio when it comes to your um strength stat and your perception stat so like as you can see here um the starting points is 19 so i did 220 points into strength and then 110 points into perception so say you had um let's say you had 300 points right you put 200 points into strength and then 100 points into perception always do a two one ratio when it comes to strength and perception uh perception helps you minimize uh the amount of well not minimize but it's min max the amount of damage that you do when attacking and this does apply for crits as well um let's say 
uh let's say when you hit a crit right because crit is normally two times the amount of damage if your damage is very low on men you're not going to hit a lot of crazy crit hits right that maybe you see in videos or things like that you want to level up your perception to actually close that gap so what i when i was going my full attack build i had 70 percent perception and that's because of my ssr weapons once i took my ssr weapons off i actually had 61 percent precision so when i was running full strength i had everything into attack and then i had 70 percent in precision I used that for the entirety of my playthrough. Um, I got, you know, say rank one on Battlefield Time. I got rank two on the uh, the new dragon. That's uh, you unlock at level forty seven. I probably could have got rank one, but I I didn't realize when you register your uh, stats. Well, you register the amount of damage you do. It actually you can't go back in, so that kind of sucks. But I got rank two on there, um, and. I've had no issues going this, but again, if you feel like you might have an issue and you want stats to carry you, probably level more into precision. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a hard gamer, you know, I'm into the mechanics. I dodge a lot. I always have defense down, so I'm able to clear a lot more stages than the average person that usually have trouble in this game, calling this game pay to win because we know they can't dodge as much or things like that. So precision i actually found that the sweet spot is actually 85 to 90 percent precision to help you min max your damage now again you're probably wondering why is agility a waste of stuff well okay if you actually come to your um your artifacts right you're going to get critical hit rate as you can see your substats can have critical hit rate and let's see, you have 659 into critical hit rate. Do you see where I'm going with this? You increasing this by 100 points is not going to do anything. Anything. When you can literally just get a substat on any of these pieces and have it be critical hit chance or critical hit damage now do you have to play with rng a little bit yes but do you have to rush it and put points into agility absolutely not because you are eventually going to be able to build those stats on your jinwu this game is not a sprint it's a marathon there is no reason for you to rush everything into the game at all whatsoever especially if you're free to play and you're not like a you know like a top five ranker or anything like that you're eventually going to clear everything so ignore agility just literally get it off your subsets now obviously you know i can't be like oh put this in your subset it takes time and it's going to be that way but it's the same thing for me now when you get the demonic sword because that's why one usually is re-rolling for by the way you should be re-rolling for the demonic sword because it actually helps you mitigate your stats and what do i mean by this well demonic sword actually gives you 36 percent crit rate which helps apply to your crit your crit hit to give you over 50 percent crit chance so it helps you not hurt for your um for your crit stat as much and then you might be like well okay then your builds pay to win you, you have a, a quote-unquote pay to win build you know you have the demonic sword you know why am i listening to you well actually you do get the dark scythe for free um if you actually complete your challenges and that also gives you 25 percent crit rate so again you can actually use that as your secondary weapon get 25 percent crit rate for free right and then you can put um, you know, get artifacts that have the substantial crit rate, and then you'll have over 50% crit. So that's to counter that argument as well. So um, all in all, what I would do is get your precision at least 85%, at least 85%, and then everything into attack.
but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you do disagree then go ahead and put it in the comment section if you disagree um i believe a majority of people that understand uh, the sad building and agility is pretty wasted um and for my black clover people that you don't watch black clover think of it like the crit set do we use the crit set on black clover no because it's trash it's very similar to agility because you're gonna get way more crit on your subsets so think of it like that anyways thank you guys so much for watching again leave a like on the video if you have not join discord link in the description and if you guys have any more guides you want me to make in the comment section down below and i will see you all in the next one peace